Hello, my friends. It's episode 56. It's the end of our time at start. I'm kind of gutted, to be honest with you. I'm tempted to keep playing this offline to see if we can get over that Champions League hump. But I don't want it to get old for you. But before we get into that, my friends, I have a really delayed shout-out to give to a patron on Patreon. I owe Matt Broadway a massive apology because I believe I forgot... Um, to give him a shout out in March when he pledged, he's just upped his pledge and give me a little nudge on, on Twitter to say like, Hey, I wonder if you're going to give me a shout out now that I've upped it. So Matt, I really appreciate it, mate. Um, I, all my patrons, I, we haven't talked about it cause we haven't had many people, um, joining Patreon recently, which is, you know, fine. I'm not, I'm not, there's no way for me to talk about this without it sounding awkward in my head. So I'm not saying like, no, oh, I wish there were more. Cause I mean, I do, but uh, anyway, so, Matt, I really appreciate it. I haven't talked about Patreon in a little bit, and uh, I'm so sorry that I neglected to give you your shout-out in March. So, here it is in April. Hopefully, that's okay for you. My friends, today, we are going to do the end-of-season awards, you know, fans player of the season, best player, blah, 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 young player of the season, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've already resigned and gone forward, okay? So, here's here's how I'm thinking this out in my head. Um. If I were in this role, and I've I've done TPS, and we, we, we won the league there, and grind, 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 and then we move to start, and we kind of get them up, and we rescue them, and we go to the Champions League, and get all this money, and we buy the stadium, and we expand the stadium, and we spend all this money, and like we've like really solidified this club financially, improved the facilities, great players. I would want a little bit of a vacation. So it's December 2027. And here's what I'm thinking, because, again, this is the Nordic tournament, so I'm staying in the Nordic countries. We may sometime soon start a different save somewhere else, but this is just to be in the Nordic countries. And those leagues typically run, like, whatever, March to December, or, you know, somewhere in that time frame. But managers also get fired in the middle of the season, like, usually by, you know, the, like, let's just take a look now. If we look at the... Um, the job center right now. Oy vey. All right, let's get rid of the international jobs. Oh, there's all kinds of countries that we don't want. We'll just take a look at it. Um, so, like, Denmark, you've got a second division team. There's not that many jobs. Like, there's two jobs in Denmark. Only one that I'd really be interested in. Renders. But, again, we're taking a vacation. There's some first division jobs in the Faroe Islands. There's one Yakinen position in Finland. Um, there's a Norway lower division, which is not playable. There's the second division, Rosenberg BK2, which I don't even know if that, I guess that's playable. It's, it's acting like it's playable. Um, there's a bunch of U19 Swedish roles, but you've got a Super Etten team. You've got a bunch of Division 2 teams, which is way down there. So I feel like usually by this time of year, the, the coach has already been fired and they probably picked up a replacement, right? There's not like a ton of openings. So I thought I would bump it out, you know, six months i was thinking a year but then you know like you run into problems where you're back to it's back to december and, and all the jobs have already been picked up so i was thinking get to the summer time frame where teams are maybe struggling and they're looking to make a make a change so i've already resigned i've i've, I've done i've saved it and then and on a different file i've jumped forward just to because it takes a lot of process saving uh or vacationing for that long when you've got all the leagues loaded that we have so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna we're gonna take a look at the squad and then we're going to hop forward and see what's available and then see if we need to make a decision. Um, so let's do that. Let's do that. All right. Um, Norwegian Cup top goal scorer goes. Matty Leskin comes in third with seven goals. That's not bad. Um, kind of a I'm, – I'm curious to see who the, the play, fans player of the season is and all that because it's kind of it. like we've had injuries towards the in, end of the season where we haven't – necessarily had a consistent 11 right like we started playing more 4-3-3 than 4-2-3-1 uh, because um alexander Wukne got injured or whatever um but let's take a look all right jonas peters was the pick of the three players okay so he's been added in as has dave smith and vidar knutson vidar knutson okay with his 12 Elite Series starts in a 7.0 and three Champions League starts on a 6.93 and two Cup starts on a 7.25. Oh, 
Oh, that's interesting that he gets the pickup. What did our... That's weird. Matias did better and is the starter. So I... I... I just think that's a little funny, to be honest. We have not looked at this. Um, interesting. I don't remember. Maybe he was on it as a backup last season and then bumped his way back up. But that's that's interesting. So the the starting 11, if you look at it, we've still got Lassana, Parajo, Ockels, Peterson. We don't have Holligan anymore. we got Alexander, Dave Smith, Feldahl, and we don't have Hansen. So essentially, Ja Pedro doesn't make the cut. And Christopher Buxrod because he hasn't. Maybe it's they have to be it, be the team a little bit more than like one season before it starts going like okay these guys are gonna be in the best eleven they're gonna stick around. Ninety nine appearances scored ten goals. Okay, so it must be over his. Yeah. Okay, that's why it's over a couple seasons. All right, makes sense. Where are they now? We be blah blah blah. Don't really care about that. End of season awards. Jose Rabello getting 44. It's a that's one of the closer votes I think that we've seen on the save with 44%. Jonas Peterson getting 27% and Christopher Buxrud with 18%. Okay, goal of the season we'll look at it. Usually not very inspiring. Signing of the season Rabello 249k from Benfica. 2.2 million. Quite the good value, my friends. Look at that. 17 starts, 9 goals, 8 assists, 2 players in the match on a 7-4-5 in the league. Not to mention, 11 starts in the Champions League, 7 goals, 3 assists, 2 players in the match, 7-4-1. Unbelievable run with Jose Rabello. Um, let's, let's, just, let's just watch the goal. I feel like we're, we're obligated to watch the goal season to see if it's, if it's really that amazing or if it's more of a... Hmm? Is this the... Uh, this is the cup. Yeah, where we absolutely smash them. So I don't think that's the goal of the season. I'd love to I'd love to know how it's coded in the game to determine that's the goal of the season. And then this is a bit of a surprise to me. Alexander Wigney getting the young player of the season, 18 starts five. I mean, he's on a 7-5 seven. I'm, I'm not saying he's not deserving, but when you look at Jonas Peterson. He's the Norwegian Young Player of the Year. And yet, he's not our Young Player of the Year. Maybe it's like, mate, like, we're going to, we're going to let Alexander have this one. Like, yeah, we know you're good. We know you're, we're going to let, we're just going to let him have it. I just think that's funny. Like, all of Norway's like, that Jonas Peterson kid's pretty good. We're like, I like Alexander. Maybe it's because it's his last season he can get it because now he's 24. I don't know. Season review. Knocked out in the group stage. You're Ripley knocked out in the first round. That was back in the beginning part of the season against Olympiacos. But we did do the title of the, the Elite Syrian and the Cup. And, oh, the Super Cup, which we're, we're super thrilled about. 11,564. This is what I'm excited about for the club is that's packed out. Um, if we go look at the board... I mean, it's going to be another year and a half, potentially, I guess. But they've got the money in the bank. We own the ground now. Got the training facilities. And it's going to go to, like, whatever it was, like 14000 So there's room to expand. Potentially, there's room to expand even beyond that. So, I mean, let's just, just look at that. 170000 We're currently spending sixty five. So let's drop it. If you dropped it to a hundred or thereabouts, they got $22,000 and a half million to spend in the transfer window. So whoever the next manager is, is set up to do some cool things. Um, where are they now? Da, da, da. Squad dynamics. You've got Ockels, Praho, and Buxrud as our team leaders. Everybody loves me. You know, like they should, you would think, right? Of course. The goalkeeper is like, eh. <laughs> Undecided. Undecided. Um, but everything else is, is quite good. Confidence review should be higher, but 78%, whatever. It's kind of like, come on, guys. Um, injury report, yada, 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 season break. Okay. So let's take one last look at the squad. Um, let's take a look here. Just one second. All right, sorry about that. Um, so let's look at goals. 
just prolific. Jose Rabello with 20 goals for us, 19 for Parajo, who admittedly got injured, 18 for Luskinen, 16 for Marcus Hobostad. I don't care that some of them were – oh, no, that's counting all the ones in the Cup and the Champions League. I don't see I, – I imagine they're going to get rid of him because his finishing is not great, but, like, I'm going to keep this part of the save and at some point go and look at, like, his hidden attributes because – He's two star, but he has come through for us. And I know I talk about him. I feel like if I, I'm like a Marcus Hobostad fan, but man, that is, he's keeping pace with Leskinen and Parajo and, and was on a, you know, just whenever we need you, come on in. He's, he's old man at 28, but man, 16, that's impressive to me. Ockels with 11, Alexander with nine. So a little bit of a difference from last season where, um, we had more goals. Like, like, let's go look at Ockel's, uh, last season. No, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. He had 15 goals. What are you talking about? I guess it's just showing the league. Um, but it would count all of these, right? 11. Yeah. He had 15 total goals last season versus. Yeah. Okay. That, it's not comparing the same amount. So, um, he had 15 total goals last season versus 11 this season. Alexander's let's take a look at the same thing. He had 13 total goals in the various competitions compared to nine this season. So we were relying more on our wingers, and obviously we wouldn't we didn't play as much 4-2-3-1. We played more we did play some 4-2-3-1 and some 4-3-3 in the save this year. So maybe that's impact I just think it's kind of interesting the 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 difference there where more goals went to the strikers this season and we we lost some from the wings, but they didn't play as much. Um and then grit back picking up six and then a kind of you know random ones after that assist 17 for rubello so 20 and 17 in 37 appearances is thank you very much thanks for playing um alexander with 12 Ockels with 10 so again the wings getting the the a lot of the assist there less than with eight probably some deep lying uh forward on the 4-3-3 coming into play there Zhao pedro with six Parajo with six Parajo is more like i'm going to score forget this um average rating Parajo on a 7-5-4 Alexander 752 on 30 appearances, 748 for Manny. I mean, look at that. This is just, I mean, it takes all the way down to get to Ronnie Servetson to get to a 697. And all these are like, it's not like they just have one game. So quite tasty, my friends. Key passes per 90, 262 for Oystein Stein. Um, didn't play as much. So that comes into comes into play. Maddie Luscombe with 2.35. Quant, I mean, look at that. Um, 2.29. Key headers. 86 from Feldahl, which is, you know, he's six foot two, 16 jumping reach and 12 heading. Well, that'll explain it, won't it? Um, 63 for Matty Leskinen, and then it drops off from there, obviously. Um, that, that's interesting to me that Leskinen got that many. Again, um, some of those had to have gone in, but we, we saw a lot of like it going over the bar, but I think that's kind of interesting. So almost on pace with our center backs. Uh, key tackles, fell down on Bookster, as you might expect. Key passes, 79 for Rubello. That helps you get 17 assists. 66 for Jesper Richardson, which is quite tasty. Alexander and Parajo, and then, you know, it kind of falls off from there. So that's that's where we're at. Torp's back. I, I The only thing that I did from a, a contract standpoint is Ronnie Servetson was kind of coming up on the end of the season and was wanted. And I'm I'm not saying that he's a gem necessarily. I think he's better than the two star. Like for what he does as a winger with a right foot on the left side, which is strange. He's done all right, seven oh three. I think he's worth keeping around. So I I just had the director of football um renew the contract um rather than me to see if they if they want him they can and they booked him out for another two seasons. Um I left Torp because he wasn't wanted. Linquist because he wasn't wanted. Day Smith because his loan's coming up. I'm essentially going to let the next manager and whoever take care of all that. Um, I would buy Dave Smith, 2.8 million. We get the money now, and again, they may not want uh, want him for 2.8 million. His contract's up in six months though, so like you think you might be able to snag him, but I'm just going to leave that be and see what they kind of come up with. That that's not going to be my problem anymore. So, um, one last look at the finances. I mean, look look at this. Started down here. We have done the business, my friends. 26.68 million euros in the bank. Own the state. And that's, I, I don't know if it's uh, already taken out the expansion costs from the stadium, 
but it's definitely owning the stadium and all the other facilities changes. And if you look at the values of our players, I'm just a, like, this is what always happens. So like, you just kind of have to accept it is that the AI is going to cash in on like on your squad. And that's going to be devastating because they're probably not going to get as much money as they could. Or it's like, you know, we were offered at one point, I can't remember if it was Joe Pedro or Christopher books but we were offered like 10 million euros for him. And I turned it down because it was the middle of the season. Um, but we've got 3.8 million, our most valuable players, Parajo. Jonas Peterson, not far behind, 3.4, and he's 19. Um, Morea and Feldau are the next three. I mean, like, th we have done our job here. Um, so we're going to we're gonna bid them adieu. We're going to resign. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll hop. It's going to be July 1st, 2028, after this break. If you wouldn't mind to hit the like button, I'd appreciate it. It was sad when I did this. I've already done it, but I'm, I'm still sad. Right, going back and reviewing this again. I'm like, oh, that's, uh, you know, and then look at, the, just one last time, look at this kid. I think he, he could be really good. 17 years old. Oh, and we're saying goodbye. Okay, we're saying goodbye. All right, my friends, we're back a little bit earlier than July 1st because I typed in June 1st rather than July 1st. You know, they both start with J. Um, and June 1st, there was nothing, so I went, like, two weeks ahead, and we have some openings. But before we get to that, let's look what has happened to start. Okay, they're in first. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. Let's just – okay, they've hired this guy. Kerr Ingebrigsten. Inge Not a bad manager. Malmo's former okay Rosenborg okay he, he's familiar with the league he did some he did some Viking FK time okay so he's been in the arena a little bit older lad fair enough fair enough how how far ahead are they let's take a look at that uh point fair enough okay top goal scorers Luskin and Rebello. I guess the Champions League stuff hasn't started yet. I'm like, wait, we're in the champ. We're they're in the Champions League, right? Oh, let's oh, oh, let's take a look at the transfers. This is what always always happens with the AIs. They like cash out. So let's see. Torp on loan. <gasps> Parajo's gone. Six and a half million, eh? Celtic. Oh, he's nine and a half thousand on a backup contract. He's had five starts, five subs, four goals. He's playing well. That's that's kind of disappointing. Ockel's on loan to Casimpaisa. 26500 a month. Not bad. And they're paying his wages. They're just shipping him out until the end of the season. Is that what you're doing? He's quite good. Um, books were gone to Leverkusen for $3.2 million. Is he starting? <gasps> 22 Yeah, okay. I, I don't blame him for wanting to go. 20 that, yeah, right. He might have been on like three or four thousand a week with us, so congrats. He's had a whopping three starts on a six five seven. Youngster loan, youngster loan, Feldau. Oh, Feldau's gone to Feyenoord for four point two million. He's making fifteen and a half thousand. Congrats to him. I guess we should look. Is he playing? Yes. 13 starts on a 666. Not the best number you want to have. Jao Pedro's gone to Galtasaray. Oh, okay. Eight starts, 672. Okay, so, okay. Center back. Okay. <laughs> starting striker, left wing, starting center back, starting center back, starting right back. Backup center back. Roman's gone. That's a. Oh, no. Down here. That's not a bad deal for him. 700 grand. Jesse Richardson's gone to your rival at Mold, making 2K a week. Okay, rotational midfielder. This was a good youngster. They've loaned out Servetson, Ronigan, and, and backup left back. They have gotten rid of, assuming they didn't re sign Dave Smith. Let's go look. Do they have Dave Smith? No. So the entire back line's gone. Okay. They brought in Jonas Erickson, who's a center back. Okay. He's done well. 15 starts, 713. Six foot four. Monster. Picked him up from mold. 
So we traded, did some trade with Bold. You can have Jesper Richardson. We'll take Jonas Eriksson. Um, Frederick Ace from SK Braun was a striker. Yeah, I remember that name scoring against us. He's got two goals. That's so not the that, 1.9 million. You really gave up pro. Mm. Stian Sobayoskogin. Who? What's he do? He's a right midfielder. It, tell me, it's 4-4-2. Is that what they're doing? He said three subs. Great. Fontana, right back. That's to replace Jao Pedro, but and he's Argentinian. That's hilarious. 6.7. And then Miroslav Dejanovic is a midfielder, I guess, to replace Jesper Richardson. Eight starts, three goals, 6-6-8. Six, six, Who's the center backs? Jo They're playing Jonas Peterson as a as a center back. Are, are you serious? No, he's five foot three, guys. Is, is somebody injured? Maybe, maybe they were gonna play Steinholm there. No, don't do it. And they've got okay, Jonas Erickson was the pickup, and they've got Asel Froysen is playing left back. Really? Okay. Yeah, they're playing four four two. Oh, that is that's depressing. They got Eric Anderson listed for two hundred seventy five thousand. Cheeky little pickup. Okay. All right. So this is. Oh, I thought I did this already. Um. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of all the international jobs, and we're only looking at uh, the six Nordic countries. Oh, I'm so gutted by that. Hopefully, that Jonas Pearson move is not permanent because that's depressing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got the six Nordic countries. That's what we've been focused on. Not a lot out there right now, but like this just changed. So we've got some D S Division Two teams in Sweden, which is way down the league. We're not doing Norway. We got no. We're not doing third division of Iceland because we've already done fourth division. That's really similar. We're not doing Finland because we've already done that. Uh, Denmark, you've got Nordsland. That's interesting. Okay. How I'm looking at this is like. If this was actually me, and it, if I'd taken whatever five or six months off, it's like okay. So we we battled in in uh, the in Finland, right, with TPS. Then we move to start. We battle. We get into the Champions League. We go on a great run. I might take a job that was a little more laid back, where I, I don't have to be as pressured that's like if you get fired whatever i've got money saved up we'll assume i sell the house in norway and, and whatever and so for some reason the faroe islands just is interesting to me um so we've got tb fcs roin what like how, why are there three names um tb fc suroy slash roin we're gonna call him fc suroy founded in 2017 good Regional reputation, insecure finances. Let's take a look. Players. Not paying their players. Good. Good. <laughs> um, staff. Okay, staff's eating up all the wages. 300 a week for the interim head coach. So, like, I, I'm not saying this would be a long-term thing, but I think it would be kind of fun to go here and, like, they, they got – relegated and then promoted back and they've essentially barely survived this is a 10 team league 8th 9th 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 7th 8th 8th so they've never done anything could we do something for two seasons with them and like see if we can make something of the team can we get some free transfers i have no idea because this, this is the part of the database that would be um outside of fm18 like this is the database i downloaded so i'm a little nervous about that but I'm also kind of intrigued. Like, to go to the Faroe Islands is a small club. Okay, you also got B68, whatever this is. We're going to call him B68. So, okay. 1968, relegated, promoted, relegated, promoted, relegated, boom, and then with a thud in 2018. And they're not really doing anything. 
okay finances. Where are they? Okay, they're at the bottom. Int what is happening? What what is the Uh how do these rules work? Why why is this team in can these teams not be promoted? Oh, they're second teams. But why can this team that that's the same thing, right? That's the second team. Top win, top team wins promotion. Bottom team, twenty-seven games. Why is it already highlighted? That makes me nervous. Why is it already highlighted? Let's go look at the past stages. Uh, <laughs> HB two came down. Can they not go right back up? I have no idea what's happening. Because this team's here. I, just, I don't know. I think it would just kind of be fun to, to look at. So those are really our options. We could keep like waiting for like a high-level Swedish team to pop open. Um, we could go for FC Nordsland. I'm not, we've already done Denmark. We did Denmark and FM17. I don't know. It's something from like a role playing standpoint where I could like, yeah, let's go to Faroe Islands and like hang out for a couple seasons. Like, see how big it is, you know? And like, because I know nothing about the Faroe Islands. So I'd like to learn about that. Or do we hang out and wait for a better option in Sweden? Because those are essentially our options. Or maybe Iceland, but we've already done Iceland. So I'm thinking Faroe Islands or Sweden. Let me know what you think of the comments. Should, should we go to, TBFC Sudroy slash Roin and and see if we can do a, a bit of a of a rescue job considering they're in last by two points and there's whatever 27 games so a little more than a third of the season got let me know check out this stuff over here thanks for all your support on the channel you guys have been great um it is going to be probably several days before I have a video up I am going to take a little bit of time off because I've been grinding away on start um like, it'll probably be Tuesday next week before the next video is my gut. Because I want to get comments from you about, hey, this is what I think you should do, all that kind of stuff. But, so I want to get that, and then I'm taking some time off, and then I have to record. And then, you know, once I record, then it takes time to process and upload and all that kind of stuff. So it may be Tuesday next week. Today's what? Today is Tuesday that I'm recording this. It'll go out on Wednesday. So... It could be Wednesday next week. I just realized I forgot to turn my lights on for the green screen because I had lunch in between because I, you know, vacationed. Excellent. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, hopefully you'll stick around. I'm, I'm anticipating a rather large drop off in, in viewership, just obviously because no new episodes. But I'd like to get your thoughts on that. And I may completely change my mind and just say, like, forget it. I'm doing what I want to do. And then you'll see an episode out tomorrow. That There is a chance of that. <laughs> um, so... Uh, if you've enjoyed this, it's a bit of a ramble. Make sure you hit the like button and uh, leave a comment on our options here. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Check out the stuff over here. Again, I just...